we're going to be taking a look at breakpoints and the breakpoints.yml file. The breakpoints.yml file is basically a list of labels and media queries. The breakpoint module keeps track of the height, width, and resolution breakpoints. Mostly used for responsive images, could be used for triggering JavaScript callbacks per viewport, hard but not impossible to be implemented in CSS. So here we have a Drupal instance installed and it is using a custom team called Drupal Up and this custom team is basically extending the Bartik team. So here we may just create a new file and call it the name of the team dot breakpoints dot yml and here we're going to be declaring our breakpoints the breakpoints we may declare in the custom teams or in the modules so you may have a breakpoints yml file in your custom module too so let's create our first breakpoint i like to prefix them with the team so we say drupal up and then first let's say mobile and the mobile we label mobile the media query of it is with minimum width of zero pixels and with weight zero because it's the first breakpoint and we may add also multipliers so the multipliers are so once is for the normal devices and for example once point five could be supported by Android and two is supported by the retina display and you would be basically able as you use the breakpoint for the responsive images to have different sizes of the images for the different resolutions so let's go ahead now and create the second breakpoint so we name it with the name of the team and then let's call it narrow label it narrow the media query would be all and minimum width of 560 pixels and let's say maximum width of 850 let's say pixels which is quite normal we might have a weight of 1 and we may have the same multipliers also here and let's add to one more breakpoint so let's go ahead and call it white and label it white and the media query would be something like O and minimum width from where the previous ends which is 5 uh, 851 so 851 pixels so that's cool it would cover also the bigger than 851 which is exactly what we need the weight 
would be 2, the next one, and we would use the same multipliers. That's perfect. So if we go back to our Drupal instance and if we just clear the cache, as we have this theme already activated and as we clear the cache, now we have the breakpoints implemented here, basically available. And how we can check if our breakpoints are working, we may install the responsive image module. If it's not installed, you may just install it quickly. And as you go to configuration and responsive image styles, as you start adding a new responsive image style, you see that here our team is listed as a team that provides breakpoints. And here are the breakpoints that we just declared. In the next video, I will show you how you may use the responsive image module in order to have different images for the different media queries and for the different resolutions so that you don't load too big images. For example, when you're having a device with smaller viewport. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please check the links in the description, subscribe, like, ask if you have any questions and thanks for watching.